Right, hello and welcome to part three of how a knitting machine works. And to look at this, we're going to look at the bottom of the carriage. Now, the first thing to do is to look at the knitting machine when it is just um, knitting normally. So we're going to follow the path of a needle through with this. And you can see that this particular thing here at the far right hand end of the picture, that's flipped up, which means that the needles that are coming in get pushed down here and they totally ignore the drum that's programmed. So the path of the needle from there is it gets pushed forward to here where it picks up a stitch. It gets pushed backwards again for a little bit just to pull the stitch through. OK, and then it gets pulled down, which pulls the stitch right the way through and the needle exits with a new stitch formed. OK, but if I flip this lever, what it does is it makes the needles pass over this drum here. And you can see that some of them will hit the bits that will stick out and be pushed forwards and some of them will not, um, and they will go across like this, and they will go backwards, okay, like so. Now, in this particular setup, the forwards ones go, they go like that, they get pushed down, they pick up the stitch as normal, okay, they go, they get pulled back as normal, they knit as normal, out they go, okay, and they do normally. The ones that go backwards, okay, still, just come down here, pick up the stitch, go across, pick up the, uh, pull up the stitch through, and go out normally. So, um, the... In this particular setup, whether the needle is forwards or backwards, it will just knit normally. But let's have a look and see what happens if I do this. So, I've moved the cameras, and you can see these two little levers have moved up. So, the stitches that go forwards, that are pushed forwards, still knit normally, as you would expect. Okay? But the stitches that go backwards, they come down here, okay, and they don't really do anything. They jiggle up and down a little bit. But they don't go forwards, they don't go backwards, they are just totally ignored. So they don't do any stitches at all, and they pick up a little float going past. And that's called slip stitch. Okay, now if I take it one further, you can see that these things move down here. And this time it's going to tuck it. Because again, the needles that go forwards, standard pattern, through they go, no problem. Knit normally, out they come through this gate, and out they go, no problem. And the stitches that go backwards, okay, they do get pushed forward a little bit, just enough to pick up a loop of yarn, but then it never pulls them back properly through the stitch. It never, never gets the, the needle far, far forward enough to actually slip the stitch over the, over the latch hook. So it just picks up a loop of yarn, and that's that. Um, and that's called a tuck stitch. And then later on, um, that tuck stitch will then go and be knitted properly. Let me show you one more. This time we're going to have a look at the two color or fair isle setting. And again, let's have a look. So. The, the, the stitch that goes forwards, okay, is going to go forwards early. So it will pick up the first loop of yarn it gets to, at which point it gets directed down here, normal stitch, out it goes. So that picks up colour number one up here. The stitches that go backwards wait for a little bit, okay, and they pick up colour two just a little bit further on here. So they pick up the second colour that they get to. So here they come, up they go, pick up the second colour, um, and at this point... They are pushed down through here, okay, and they knit backwards as normal, and off they go. So it picks up two different colours of yarn, depending on whether the needles are forwards or backwards. Now that's actually most of the, um, of the functions of a knitting machine sorted out. There's a couple of other stitches you can do. But you can see that the cams very cunningly push the needles to where they need to go. Um, and so what I'll do now is I'll quickly set up a video and I'll show you that in, in action, okay? Right then. So what I've now done is I've set it up so you can see the knitting coming off as we go past, like so. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the thing up to do slip stitch, but I'm also going to set it up to pick up on the needles and actually do something with it. So let's go and let's see what this happens when I do this. Now, with a bit of luck, you should see some, some slips building up on it. And if we have a look at that, it's quite subtle, but you can see some floats sitting on the top. So that's just what happens when it just ignores the stitches. Now I'm going to change it to tuck stitch. 
okay? When it's not going to ignore it, it's going to pick them up as loops. So let's have a look and see what that does. Okay, so again it's quite a subtle effect, but if you have a look you should be able to see that it's picking up the tuck stitches in a sort of diamondy pattern, okay, and just holding that yarn in the next stitch along, which is quite nice. Now for our final effect, and um, what I'll do is I'll put in a second colour, and we will um, see what happens if I can persuade it to knit in Fair Isle. So, this time it should take the um, it should take the first the uh, the first colour for one for all the A stitches and the second colour for all the B stitches. Let's see if you can persuade it to do that. And as you can see. is in fact doing exactly that. And there you go. That is how um, a, a knitting machine patterns. I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you all later.